Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Store error, that is error encountered. One of the update services is not running properly. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to start these services. Now for this, you can type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Scroll down here, you can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find Microsoft Store install service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click on start or restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. With this selected, again make a right click, click on restart. Now you can check, still not working. The next step is to, now the next step is to clear WS, clear store cache using WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will re reopen Microsoft Store and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows 11. Now for this open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart you can be here. And after the system restart, you can open Store. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset Store. Now type in Microsoft Store in Windows search box and then make a right click on Microsoft Store and then go to app settings, scroll down. First of all, click on terminate and then click on repair. And after the repair, you can open store and then check. Still not working, then perform reset. Click on reset, reset. And once the reset is complete, now you can open Microsoft store and then you can check. So now you can try to open it and then check. Still not working, the next step is to Make sure date, time, time zone, and region is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right, uh, here you can see date and, date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. If set time zone automatically, if this is off, turn it on. Also, if set time automatically, if this is off, turn it on. And then you have to click on sync now. Sync now is important over here. Click on sync now. If you receive any kind of error in red color, just click on sync now multiple times. Once done, go to time and language, language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Now you can try to open store. Still not working. The next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this, type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and make sure that you open PowerShell as an administrator and then click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. So paste the command over here. Yeah. paste it over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see errors like this in red uh, in red color just ignore it let the process complete this will take some time and once this is done you will see everything red and once that is done restart your computer and after the system restart open store still not working Uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and run as administrator only. And then click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. This will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. So it will be gone. It's gone. Now to reinstall Microsoft Store, copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description, copy it, and then paste it, hit the enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer. And then you can open store and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run SFC and DISM command. Now for this, copy this com first command and then type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will run a scan. The scan will take some time. 
And once this scan is 100% complete, copy the second command and then paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete, then a restart you can be right. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command. So type in, type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl. And now go to advanced tab, scroll down. Here you can see use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.1, 1.3. .1, Make sure all four are checked and then hit apply. Click on OK and then check. Still not working. Use fix problems using Windows Update. Open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update. Update uh, advanced option over here and then go to recovery option. Over here you can see the option which says fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved and then click on reinstall now. And once this is complete, uh, then restart your computer and then you can open store. Now still not working. Uh, the next step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in our browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. When you run this exe file, you will see the screen. Click on accept over here and then by default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on Next. Select ISO file over here and then click on Next over here. You can save it to desktop and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once this is done, click on Finish option. Now, once you hit Finish, let this close automatically. And then go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file over here and then make a double click, run the setup file. Click on Yes to allow. Click on Next over here, Accept over here. And here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then open store so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to open microsoft store successfully and you should not receive this error anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel